three investigations, and those are just the ones we know about, against a Colorado contractor accused of leaving customers high and dry. A contact Denver 7 CB Cotton broke this story last month, and tonight she's digging deeper, hearing from another customer who says he lost thousands of dollars. How did I fall for this? Stephen Long says he should have known better. We've invested $29,600, and all I have is a pile of steel in my backyard. Long says in mid-2019, he signed this contract with Steel Building Manufacturing, LLC. State records show the business is registered to a Donald Steinke. The same name appears on this contract. Long says he hired the business to build a steel building for his food truck, the Chaotic Kitchen. But three years later, his food truck is still parked in his front yard. You know, and I continually texted with him and contacted him. I went by his office several times, you know, trying to get, you know, trying to get information corrected. And uh, he was never available or and never returned calls and things. Long says the whole thing is a huge financial blow. I had to take out a loan. I'm paying on a loan that I have nothing to show for. You know, so I mean, it, it's it's money that's just gone. In late August, we told you about Erin Christine. She said she hired the business Steel Building Manufacturing LLC to complete a building for her, but she says she canceled the project after months of delays and empty promises. She says Steinke told her he would refund $13,000 of the money she paid him, but that didn't happen. We were able to track Steinke down on the phone in August. He told us Christine would have her refund by September 12th, but she didn't get it that day. I was able to get Steinke on the phone again last week. He said he doesn't owe anybody anything. Every single customer, I gave their money back. I have never taken anybody's money, ever. Even, and I'll go on record to say that. I have, don't owe anybody any money at all. But in that same call, when we weren't recording audio, he said he would get Christine her money. He then texted and said he paid up. On September 16th, Christine did find this check in her mailbox, but it's for 10 grand, not the nearly $13,000 she says she's owed. Christine said she sent Steinke this email shortly after, writing in part, I'm inquiring as to why you returned a partial check to us. We expect those funds to be returned to us immediately. In regards to Stephen Long's claims, Steinke refuted all of them. Again, Steve Long, I don't owe him any money. He didn't owe me. We did some digging into Steinke's background and found these records showing more than a dozen civil complaints filed against Steinke dating back to 2000. Steinke said these records can be chalked up to disgruntled customers. If they pay me, I do the job. That's, that's it. I do not take their money and not do the job. Never. Ever. Is that on record? Absolutely it is. Todd Collins, an Elizabeth-based attorney, filed this suit against the business last fall. Now, nearly a year later, a judge granted this default judgment against Steinke and his business. All I can really say about that is we have received judgment and we're moving on to the next steps uh, after receiving judgment. The case is still open because uh, we're still, we named one of uh, this company's subcontractors who also took $26,000 from our client and basically fled the state with it. Denver 7 confirmed the Elbert County Sheriff's Office has opened two criminal cases into the business practices of Donald Steinke. We have been working and working closely, matter of fact, with the Sheriff's Office on this. We've also confirmed the Douglas County Sheriff's Office is investigating Steinke as part of Christine's case. Meanwhile, Stephen Long says he doubts he'll ever get his money back but he hopes to spare others from the frustration and financial pain he's endured. I just don't want to see anybody else get in the same situation I'm in. In Elbert County, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.